Okay, here's my notes. I wrote this down after stream because it goes with those who plunder the red light shall never escape and I missed it. Last time on La Mulana, I got two orbs. I got an Ankh jewel. I, or was that the time before? It's all kind of blending together. Um, we got some more lore on the children. We got some more lore on the sigils. We got the scale sphere. And I have so much health. We found another boss. Who maybe is the fish master. Okay, but I gotta show you what I found. Two seconds after finishing stream. Maybe not two seconds, maybe like 20 minutes after finishing stream. I figured out breakable walls last time, so on that note... I didn't save, because I wanted to show this again. <laughs> I found it and was like, oh no, oh no, everybody's gonna be so mad I did this off stream. I gotta do it again, I'm not gonna save. I found something called Death Village, which sounds horrifying. Um, so then, where did I go after that? Then I went back to, I went to Endless Corridor, because I was like, I kind of just want to walk around, and I don't know what to do here yet, so maybe I'll walk around and something will, I'll have an epiphany, but for the most part, it'll just give me somewhere to, like, wander. Let's save with the new software. A single breakable wall got me stuck for months in the original. I definitely get that vibe from this game. I, If I get really, really stuck, then we will get to the point where I need to play like hot and cold. But for now, I found some stuff. Okay, so I was wandering around here, and you all told me this too at the end of stream. You were like, Jen, you pushed a button, and then you kind of left an area. So we're gonna go get the reveal from the button I pushed. The flowers, the sticky music. This area confuses me for now. The remake is just mean, the original. Oh, the original, original, not this one. Right, 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 this is the remake. Okay, so last time I started decoding a lot of stuff with the sun and the moon and the stars for the different brothers. <laughs> I'm just getting beat up by ghosts. But I never came back here. So, um, <laughs> this is sort of important. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, soul. I can read that. It's developed by Japanese. Yes. It is. This looks like my first Ankh. Shiny. Do you think that they're going to care about my cool red light? I think so. I think bad things will happen. But also, I, I want to use my red light. And we saved. So let's do it. I'm gonna, I have to go this way to get up there, though. I'm scared. What do you think is going to happen? Can I make this? No. Maybe I can't even get up there yet. I was gone too long and missed the progress. Aspirator, it's okay. I, I found death software, death village, which I haven't tried yet. Nigoro's first flash game. In this puzzler, you lead a man through a haunted house. Oh, it's a mini game. I didn't read the software yet. I just picked it up. And then I found this Ankh. So we're gonna use the red light? Can I use it from down here? No. How do I get up there? Not much progress, really. Just a shiny thing. Not much progress if I can't get to it. Who is, um... Who is this? 
This is G, and they will kneel down to pray, and I think I need to have them do that in order to reach. So we need to go make it moonlight again. Okay, we can do that. I feel like Mausoleum of the Giants is where I've made... <laughs> made the most progress. And of course, gotten the most beat up. But we're gonna have some victories today, I can feel it. Forget the elevator. No elevator required. Oop, except the spikes. I always pick the wrong one. So the key that we pressed, the one on buried in Leto's chest, the one next to Leto, I think that was what we pressed that gave us the Ankh. And I had pressed it and then just didn't know where to go afterwards. I'm pretty sure that was the trigger, but I could be wrong. The Sky Disc is such a cool idea. Oops. All my health is so much lower now. I'm so nervous. We gotta heal again. La Mulana, pixel perfect game, or does it have a little room for not so perfect attempts? Um, I think chat could answer that better than I can. the 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 controls are kind of are kind of janky. So I wouldn't call it pixel perfect because you're not very precise in anything. If we had gone to Ch gone to Chazodia first and gotten power grip, hi Benries, welcome in. How are you? I was inspired by your playing this to re-download La Mulana and play through it again. How's it going? Anything that you missed the first time through that you're seeing now? Imagine having a nice high quality archaeology notebook with a rotatable number sky disc in the front. I'd have loved to have something like that for La Mulana too, definitely. It's like many metroidvanias in that if you know where the secrets are, you can get some modest advantages. Definitely. So far, it has not been me relying on controller inputs for precision or like movement through the map. It's been me relying on my notes. Getting out of this room is a nightmare. Oh my god. I mean, anything we do is gonna be better than 64 health from the beginning, right? Because imagine coming through this room with 64 health and then taking a ton of damage. The modest advantage of making any progress at all. Pixel perfect means one can do a specific thing at a specific point only. Oh, I thought you were talking about pixel perfect like controller inputs. I feel like there's more than one meaning to pixel perfect. Okay. This is looking good. Technically we started with 32 health. This is true. I remember first playing and I didn't take notes. I really regretted that. Hi Prince Stolas, welcome in. I don't know how I would do this without notes. I'm mostly remembering puzzles and item locations from the first time. I'm trying not to use a guide at all and refigure things out since I had to use wiki for a lot of stuff. That's that sounds really fun. Hi fishies, you see a thing. You in fact do see a thing. Are we ready? Did I save? We got a quick save at the endless corridor, right? When I warped there. I haven't done anything since saving anyways. All I did was go heal, so it's gonna be fine. Playing the game without a guide is questionable. Playing it without a guide and notes is insane. <laughs> Drum roll. Hey, do you wanna see my cool red light? A 
Okay, can I just leave? Nope. This is going to go badly. Oh no. Can I leave this way? <laughs> Maybe it's when you use the claw on me and there's something about the claw that's vulnerable. Oh, well, I can walk up it. That seems important. Ow. Scary. Ugh. No. Oh. My bones didn't like it. We might need clues. We might need to find somewhere a special secret. Who is this? Is this Miguela? Are you left-handed? Keep doing the same thing over again. Oh, I can get behind you. What else do I have? A gun. I think this is bad to be down here, but it's good to know I can walk under you. I died. I feel like I knew it was going to go that way. So this is our quick save with 128 health. Now it's a permanent save. Wait, I'm not ready. Music. We made the statue angry. Yep, 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 yep. Pretty sure you'd be able to deduce who this is. I did not guess the guy had a gun. I had no idea you could walk under him. Well, we learned a thing. So this is in the moonlit area next to G. And I did put all my handwritten notes into my digital notes, but I still like flipping through these just because then I don't have to open a separate tab and like hide OBS. But it's super helpful for like doing a quick search of everything. Bronze statue guy fan of Michael Jackson looked like pretty decent moonwalk. Uh-huh. It's not Zebu. It's not Beto. If G is next to this statue and Abudo, G, Rebu, and Sakit are all on the same side, I'm guessing it's not one of the four of them, but that's kind of like a out there guess. Miguela carried the lake to power the tower, then drew the last breath. Ribu, concerned for his brothers, dug a hole and sent water to the tower, exhausted, lay down to rest. And they're pointing. Lido, Lido's not it, because that's the sun shone brightly on the day he fell. Abudo, unable to fulfill mother's wishes, last remaining. Alright, I need my digital notes. Hang on. <laughs> I don't have enough stuff here to get what I need. I have to minimize so many windows to get to them. Brothers. Abudo, Lido, Ribu, Miguela, G, Beto, Zebu, Fudo, Sakit. Sakit, the youngest, tread his own path, put key in Leto's body, fell into slumber with his powers in his hand. Strength lies at the foot of Fudo. I don't know much about Fudo other than that. But if it's the thing I was saying about these four, then it wouldn't be a Budo. It would be maybe...
maybe Fudo? There's nothing about pointing. I don't know. Okay. And it doesn't- my notes don't say anybody has like a one particular weakness. Let's go into that fight again just to- just to hang out, just to see. I don't have helmets, but guys, maybe we can protect you with crowns and hats. It's perfect. Maybe we need the fairy. But I haven't found the pendant yet. We have a helmet, but it's only good for water. Yeah, some helmet. And then after this, I'll brainstorm some more. But then we're gonna either keep exploring or, oops. Um. Play with the new software. <laughs> it would be dope if the damage of the rocks would be higher without the helmet. Oh, yeah, if that was actually some kind of armor would be nice. You know what I meant to do was look at the room. Where's my map? Here. The room with the two brothers with the spears to see if one of them was Megala because Megala's left handed, and I keep forgetting to go back there and take a note of that. It's pretty close to where the save is, so I could warp over there after this. Wait, that time I couldn't walk under you, or did a rock hit me? I think a rock hit me. Okay, since we're at a saving point. Oh, weird. Maybe I use the gun just to see. Point and shoot. Aim and shoot. No, you jerk. Oh, <gasps> it worked. I can hit you in the face, but I'm, it might not have to be with the gun. But I don't have enough bullets. Oh my god. Oh, I died. <laughs> well, we made progress, and I get my bullets back. I did not guess that that guy has rockets. Rockets and chains. Four bullets, and it costs 400 monies to get more bullets. I don't think it has to be with the gun. I think I can use the whip. But I don't know if that does, like, a bunch more damage than the whip would. The whip does more damage than the shuriken, I've learned. As far as exactly how much health, I don't know. Why is this jump so hard? <laughs> there we go. The Ankh. I personally would rather my opponent have a whip over a gun. Well, <laughs> you would think it would do more. Logically. This, this fight is scary. Let me down. Put me down. I can't get up if I'm under this when you do that. Oh, no. No! I 
try to jump. Can't jump high enough. Oh my god. What a waste. Get down from there. That time it didn't work! I can't tell if I just aimed really badly or... Ugh. You just really- you really have to jump up there. I got stuck. Okay, this has been fun. Let's go... Let's go up here. Let's go look at these statues. Power, how's it going? Thanks for the hello. Welcome in. Found some comments on the developer of La Mulana. Developer who seek enjoyment from torturing players. A little bit, I think, is kind of the vibe here. Oops. I wanted to get on this thing. There we go. That's the first major fight that we've seen. So, I can't say much for combat in this game yet. Other than enemies that wander around the map. Um, and so far, I don't like that boss fight, but I do think there's probably more information I could use to my advantage. See, that, that one is holding the spear in the left hand, so I think that's Megala. So if it's not Leto... And it's not Megala, and it's not G, and it's not Beto, and it's not Zebu. It could be Sakit, or Rebu, or Abudo. Who am I missing on this page? Good news, I finally found pumpkins for Halloween party for the bat friend. Yay! This page is missing. Sakit. And Fudo. I'm just gonna write them up here so I remember. Strength flies at the foot of Fudo. I noticed one in nine giants is left-handed. It's almost perfect representation of the real-life ratio. Nice! I don't know that the giant that's holding the Ankh, if we've ever seen them move... Because the only ones we've seen move are G Praise, which is right next to that one. So we've never seen that one move in the moonlight. The key appears in the sunlight for Leto. And the blanket of stars for Beto. We've seen those three move, but I don't think any of the other statues have moved. Zebu is holding up and has a holding up the room and has a name a room named after them. Are there other rooms that I never looked at what the names are? This is Monument to Hermes, this is Zebu's room, this is the last shrine, and this is the Nebris Guy Disc. So everything else is either Shrine of the Giants, Moon Palace of the Giants, Shaft to the Heavens, Star Palace of the Giants, Dolphin's Room, Room of Redemption. 
approach of the giants. Interesting. That makes me want to go look at the Shrine of the Giants again. Let's see if I can't find a clue on how to beat this boss. I don't th I don't feel like I have enough information. And it just feels cruel to keep getting smacked down over and over again. I want to know what this is. Does this tablet have words on it? Those who plunder the red light shall never escape. Does this have to do with the drawing that I took? I don't know what this room is, though. This reminds me of the face on... in the fish room, in the dolphin room. But to get back in there, I need to make it a starry sky again. I could go make it a starry sky again. We're right here. I gotta try all the different things. I think we're gonna try to focus on... the mausoleum for a little bit. Okay, I think I need this one. Nice. Finally, I picked the right switch. I can't imagine replaying this. I feel like I would have forgotten everything or like misremembered little details because it's so specific. Was I yes supposed to do that or no not supposed to do that? The tablet either said yes do it or no don't do it and I can't remember which thing, you know? Okay, I don't want to get trampled. I'm gonna go look at the dolphin room again. Does this look like this drawing? Not really. It does kind of look like there's a square panel above the chest. And it does look like at one point there was a wall here because there's this little white disc looking thing. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, Jen. <sighs> Janky controls. You get used to them sort of, but never fully. This tells us that Miguela's left-handed. I don't know. Doesn't look quite right. Other than the face that used to be on the side of that rock, but I destroyed it, so... Who can say? Maybe this is how we escape after we beat the boss. the secret escape route. Now what do we do? Go to the shrine. This is what I wanted to try. I can get up there from... Zebu's room. These dang worms. Here, let's save. No, don't. Okay, too many saves. <laughs> this is Zebu's room. I 
I guess I might ask a safe word question, which is that... If my hunch is right to look for clues or not, or if I just have to brute force that boss. But it's La Mulana! Like, I feel like you're always better off looking for clues. That's like the whole game. I just would feel bad if everybody was like, Oh my god, Jen was about to fight the boss and then she decided to run away. What a letdown. You know? Oh, I need to use a weight here. What does this say? Abudo, G, Ribu, and Saki all hoped there would come day when mother would live on this land. This is a room of redemption. Stupid bat. This has a trap door in it. skeletons don't make the trapdoors activate. Can someone explain that to me? Approach of the giants. Nice pudding you have on your ladder. Would be a shame if someone would disturb it. The bats know what they're doing. This is also approach to the giants. Above this is the last shrine. Keep having to use weights. We should go get some more weights. I have a lot of money now, so that's good. This room. But it's not like... Fudo is in here. There's no statues in here. There's just a bunch of cromleks. What is a cromlek? Depends on your viewpoint, we have the advantage of being alive. Where- where- what is this- what does this say in the corner? Let me go read it again. Rereading things. Concerned for his brothers, Ribu dug a hole to send the lake's water to the tower. His strength exhausted, he laid down to rest. The only ones who don't say that they laid down to rest were... Fudo. Where was Fudo? Strength lies at the foot of Fudo? Is that who we're fighting? Abudo, due for a long slumber. I want to know where the Abudo tablet is. It's close to the entrance because it's one of the first notes I took here. Lido entered eternal slumber. Rebu laid down to rest. Miguela drew last breath. G started praying. Beto fell into a deep slumber. Zebu is holding up the land. Strength lies at the foot of Fudo. The food of food of food. Sakit fell into a slumber. It's probably Fudo. That's my latest hunch. But I want to go read the Abudo message again. Ghosts are frightening. We only have two weights! Ugh.
Remember the trap door. Lido. I could go for a new song. We've been listening to this song a lot. But some I've made some of the most progress in this area. It feels like You know, I don't even remember what the tablet says in the upper right that tells me not to read it again. I just remember it tells me not to read it again. Oh, I messed that up so bad. Uh, hello, Tangent. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. How's it going? Kromlik is Welsh for a flat stone laid across two others, a dolmen or single chambered me megalithic tomb. Thank you, Storage Eatery. Yeah, I know those ones are like... It's so difficult with the archaeology notes to know if it's really that important, but I write them all down anyways. <laughs> it's a little bit of rock. Okay. Ugh. No. I should make a note that that's what that guy tells us. Is about the sky disc. Is this like Spelunky with more puzzles? Um, I have not played Spelunky. But you do kind of dive into ruins. Maybe? Is Spelunky a roguelike? Blobby froggy balloon. They're so cute though. We were unable to fin fulfill the Great Mother's wishes. Now I, too, the last remaining, am due for a long slumber. So this one is written in the first person. Unlike the others. Maybe Abudo is the one writing all the others' tablets. But this says that they're due for a long slumber, not that they fell into a long slumber. Have very different feels. Okay, gotcha. Oh, it looks similar. Okay. It's not that much like Spelunky, except that you're an Indiana Jones guy. Yeah. Maybe some of the art and, like, you know, exploring ruins. This is above the approach of the giants, not above not above the shrine. I am this close to deciphering the legend of the giants, but we need to learn about the strength at the foot of Fudo. Splunky is a roguelike, really hard but usual for usual roguelike reasons. It's precision flat platformer roguelike. Okay, that's cool. Similar in that you're a guy with a whip who explores caves and ancient ruins. Yeah. There's something to be said for that. Why does this... I'm gonna use one of my last two weights. Why is this here? Why is this like this? Oh. Oh. Is this money? Yay! A hundred money? That's so much money. Finally, I broke a wall and I didn't lose all the coins. Jim, thanks for the hello. Welcome in. How you doing? We got paid! Alright, let's use our monies to go buy some weights. I think there's weights in Hermes' shop. Do I need anything else from the surface? Eh, we'll just go back up here. We can always heal. Detective work in action. It's basically 
how Minecraft and Terraria compare. Sure, they're both block-based, have caves you can build, but Minecraft has much higher focus on creativity, where Terraria has much higher focus on combat, bosses, and world progression. When I played Terraria, I focused, like, only on creativity. <laughs> it depends how you play it. Some people play Minecraft and never get to the, e the end, though. The end. And some pe people play Terraria and never get to the end. I definitely think there's more focus on, like, the different bosses and armor drops and stuff in Terraria, though. Yeah. I need quite a few of these. That should be good. So we're basically where we were before I found the chest. Let's take a break from the mausoleum for a second. And look at this software. Are you ready? This is- I feel like this is gonna be scary. It's called death. How do I play it? Don't answer that. Let me try to figure it out first. You lead a man through a haunted house. Is this what, um, Zelput is playing all the time? Okay, no. You're useless. How do I play the cool new game I found? I love Terraria because of the progress progression sense. Minecraft makes me go, I can build a small house, and that's the full extent of my imagination. We've been playing Minecraft a little bit. Um, I just never know what to do. Semi and I have been playing, and it's like... We have a cat. That's the most important. We're looking for a desert biome. Oops. I didn't mean to jump down there. But haven't found it yet. Okay, I did want to test my theory that when we change it to moonlight, this door isn't shining as brightly with the sun, but this door is the same, even if we have it changed to moonlight. I wonder if the moonlight thing only affects the, um, the mausoleum anyway. Just like building farms, hoard all the resources. Nice. Terraria led you to Starbound, yeah. Comparing 2D, 3D does not really work. It can. I feel like it can. Always struck me as more play with friends. The experience is so much richer if you do. Definitely. Is there a creative mode in Terraria like there is in Minecraft? Okay, I have a yes or no question. Yes or no answers only. Safe word... Can I play this software now? Do I have the ability to do it where I'm at in the game so far? No. Okay. Thank you. I was like, I don't know that I can use this yet. There's an easy mode in Terraria journey mode. That's cool. But do you have, like, all of the resources available? Because the cool thing about Minecraft is you can play where you just pick whatever material you want to use, right? I don't know that Terraria has that. Oh, I need more shurikens, too. I didn't even realize. Let's go buy some shurikens. I kind of forget where we buy them. Terraria, you need to defeat bosses to access some materials. Journey mode is easy, and once you find it... Okay. So that's different. Once you hit a threshold, you have infinite duping, but you don't have access to it from the beginning. Research progress is saved in the journey player. Huh. No shurikens. I was saving up my monies for bullets, but I need shurikens. Alright. Let's go heal, even though we have a lot of health. So since we can't play with the software, I'll turn it off for now. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, that's not where I want to go. I want to go... Here. And save again. This is tough. It's so tough to decide if I want to stick with this boss or just abandon it for now and like try to make some other progress. What does my heart say? In a way, one playthrough is necessary, but the duping allows some shortcuts. Infinite Platinum. There's toggleable god mode. Oh. Interesting. But they still make you go to the boss. Even if you can defeat it really easily, they still make you go and do the progression. Versus just like a sandbox. I wonder if there's clues about this boss in the corridor. What about this? We are the second race born of the Great Mother. We were created in order to return the Mother to the Heavens. Let me tell you the sad tale of our race. The race began with nine brothers. Zebu, Beto, Megala, Lidu, Fudo, Abudo, G, Ribu, and Sakit. Strength lies at your feet. Oh, I forgot I changed the sky disc to go do something else. Rip. That's so how we became the brother bunch. The brother bunch. That's how we became. Okay, we weren't too far away. Nine brothers Zibu, Bibu, Dibu, Mibu, Gibu, Fibu, Wibu, Shibu, and Bob. Do you have a favorite brother? Don't say why. <laughs> because spoilers. I don't know. The funk soul, brother. Uh, I'm gonna go save again. Cause then I don't have to keep doing the sky disc. Nope, wrong one. Sorry for the delay, I know, I know. But I don't want to have to keep doing the sky disc every time I want to try to fight this boss. I only have a sister. <laughs> okay, I meant in the game. I have one brother. So yeah, he's my favorite brother. But in this game, I think Zebu is cool. Zebu gets a whole name for himself, or a room for himself. You like Megala? I like having stable floor to stand on, definitely Zebu. I like the dedication. No one else stayed behind. Follow the true flow. Maybe you have to walk these rooms in a certain, like walk the path a certain way. This is scary. Can I defeat you before the fight even starts? No. Ugh. 
There's like a symbol on its feet. I don't know why I think that's gonna do anything. It's like a teal blue symbol. Oh, I missed! I hit the hat. The helmet. Oh my god, this is the worst ever. This is what makes me think I'm not meant to do this. One hit and I'm already down to 25 health. This just seems so silly. At least if I stand up there... I can keep jumping instead of getting stuck under the chain. This just doesn't seem right. Round three? Maybe four? The hitbox is incredibly mean. It doesn't even feel like- oh, I forgot the path that I like is not this way. It doesn't even feel like a fight. Also, if this game just turns into grinding money to get more bullets, that's not fun either. Or I guess it's- it is- it just means I can't... It just means I have to go run around and get more money and explore before I can do this fight again. If that's genuinely the best way, I don't know. I don't know. Link, welcome back. We'll do this one more time. Um, are we close to a break? Yeah, we're close to a break. Oh, we already got the break warning. Maybe I should use shuriken, and it's really frustrating when you get shaken off of the arm and get hit like that. No. <laughs> And that didn't do any damage, so I don't know. The buckler. One hit every time. Ugh. Worst boss fight. I've ever seen. Oops. Rip. No! I'm not fast enough to jump over that either. Can I just hang out up there? No. Boo! Okay. Um. Let's leave. <laughs> That's not fun. Let's go to somewhere else. Last time we were making a little bit of progress in Spring in the Sky. I don't know what else I need to do in Mausoleum of the Giants. I feel like that's the last- No, because there's the shrine. There's a chest between the two giants. I think those are the last two things. We got this chest and I didn't mark it off. Where's my pencil? Underneath something. Everyone thinks Indiana Jones had it easy, but they edited out the parts where he went around scooping up change from the floor. <laughs> yeah, hi Lazo, welcome in. We don't know about the red light escape thing. I'm not sure what's going on with that. 
But there's a chest here. And there's a shrine here. And there's like a weird ledge here. I haven't found one of those repeating rooms here yet where you like walk through the wall. So far the other areas have had one of those. Hi Magus, welcome in, how are you? I don't know. What do you all want to do? Do you want to go somewhere else or do you want to stay here? I feel like we pushed a button in Gate of Guidance too that didn't, where nothing happened. I feel like I should have gotten an Ankh or an Ankh duel here by now and I haven't. This is the one where the Ankh lies beyond the path of gazing faces and the jewel is at the Cliff of Radiance, but I haven't found either yet. This is the Room of Courage. This requires more weights. Have we found the repeating room in the Gate of Guidance yet? Yes. Oh, right, that's the one that comes out by the Pit of the Holy Grail. So the two things that I found off stream have led me nowhere, pretty much. Well, not nowhere, but it's either a boss fight or software that I can't use yet. Is there something up here? But it's not gonna let me destroy this wall. So how am I supposed to test for breakable walls? Also, I think that did like 30 damage. I said I was gonna science out. Try to science out how much the lightning did. I achieved access to a boss fight, an absolute waste of ram, unfortunately. I still feel like there's something to... This path. Path of gazing faces. But I don't know... I don't know where else to go. Maybe... Oops. No. No. I need this. No! Alright, I guess we're going down here. Maybe I should look for more of those gazing faces in other rooms, and I haven't found them all yet. There's some in the very beginning of the ruins, I think. There's two in here. This is the Eden room. There's a tablet up there, and there's a pressure plate up there. But there's no staircase. I think everyone has to suck up some zaps in the name of science sometimes. I think so. Also, in the sake of science, 
slash game gameplay progress. I might need another nudge today. I'm feeling defeated. I just feel like everywhere I've hit a dead end. Gate of Guidance, I don't have an Ankh. I don't have a Jewel. We don't have a ton of clues to go off of. Gate of Guidance was where we found the Holy Grail, which was awesome. We need to find Isis, but that's in relation to the Fairy and the Temple of the Sun. I don't think Isis plays a part in the Gate of Guidance. Let me see what else I wrote down about the Gate of Guidance in these notes. In my digital notes. The path of gazing faces is in the heavenly corridor. There's a hidden floor. Cliff of Radiance. There's a push door. The Ankh is beyond the path of gazing faces. The jewel is at the foot of Cliff of Radiance. The guild runs a hidden shop. Holy Grail clues. And the path of gazing faces led to a tablet that said, Fear not the water, hold the answer for those who've been delivered by it. And that's the Sacred Lake clue, which Sacred Lake is in Spring in the Sky. That's all I have for Gate of Guidance. I don't have a lot of notes for Gate of Guidance. Because I think, well, and I don't have a lot of digital notes. Because the Holy Grail notes I didn't end up transferring because we had already found the Holy Grail. But I have written notes for the Holy Grail. You have a small nudge ready? I think... Do you... Does it have to do with somewhere else to go? Or does it have to do with the boss fight? Can I ask that? Safe word? Just to answer that. Um, and then I want to try to find my other section here. Yeah, there's a description of what the Holy Grail does, and we already know how to use it. And that's it. For, for Gate of Guidance, I really don't have very many notes on it. And I have notes on the Ages of the Sun, and the Gate of Guidance, which is how has the like blood rain of fire and blood wind and whatever it has that and i don't know what to do with that either love all the notes thanks so they're really helping me i just don't know what thread to pull right now It has nothing to do with the giant boss fight? Okay. You keep saying Radiance, but I don't see a sealed vessel. Please. Wrong game. This is where my notes on Sakit are. Nine brothers. Endless corridor. The different children. The guardian sleeps in the Ankh. Okay. Do you all think... Do you all think I'm at the point where a nudge would be helpful? I'm sorry I have so many questions today. I mean, I'm not sorry. I just... You know, people have told me they've taken months on parts of this game. I don't want this playthrough to take months. We're on a stream schedule. <laughs> Absorbing the life force of innocent maidens. Woe unto those that fall in the sacrificial abyss. 
Just ask for a nudge. If you feel like you want a nudge, take a nudge. Okay, I'll take a nudge from uh, Petri. Safe word. Just Petri for now, and then we'll go from there. I don't want to open the floodgates where everybody is giving their own individual nudges. Progress has slowed down. I'd say a nudge wouldn't hurt. Look for a unique pair of enemies. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let me think about it. I have no nudges, just mild snark. Appreciate it also. <laughs> um, the only thing that makes me think of is... That makes me think of the twins, and that makes me think of the two laser shooting pharaoh heads in Sun Temple. But those pharaoh heads aren't unique to the game. And the twins aren't something that I've seen. We just read about them. I feel like I do need to pay more attention to enemies though. Twins are the sole survivors of the first child. The third child raptured them and gained the first child's knowledge. Hmm. Oh, we said we were going to take another stretch break, too. Yeah, we're, all, we're well past hour two, so let me think on the nudge. Get up and stretch if you need to. Grab a snack. Um... I have water, I don't need to refill it yet, but I do need to look away from the screen for a second. So, I'll see you when we get back. Thanks everyone. Okay, let's do this. Hello. How's everyone feeling? If you, if you have other nudges, keep them in the back of your head in case we need another one. But we're gonna look around. Oh, you know what the identical enemies are? Are the... Yes, thank you! Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Thanks for cheering for humanity. You know what, this just came to me, which means... The break was exactly what I needed. Okay, we're gonna go to the room that I hate. Oh, I cannot push this ever again. Oh, I'm right here! I'm in the room that I hate! This room has two enemies that I've never seen anywhere else. I used up my first ball of yarn since having my shoulder replaced, so pretty great. Nice! Let me see if I can pre-formulate future steps in a rather indirect form. Look, hint, hint crafting is a is a skill and a challenge. I applaud all who attempt. How did I get down to 73 health? Just from dinking around. Oh, one has blue, one blue eye and one green eye. Take all these shurikens. I never come here because I die immediately. When did I last save? Oh, I got one. I've never killed these enemies before. Can you come up here where I can jump over your head? Oh my god, you're too fast. <gasps> Ooh, I heard a door open. That was a good hint. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. We did something. See, and I've been like... Sometimes contemplating, do I need to kill the enemies in this room? But never... Th that's... Ah, okay, and I've noted that block before, too. 
that's a room where the the enemies like really stick out which is different yay oh pff. went too far I forgot that's where the wall is and what when what what fun is it if like I didn't I don't get to call on the community at all not even a little bit although I have just for little things. Now, how do I make this work? Let me get these bats first. Or these skeletons first. Well, it seems I can only push this one way. So I feel like I have to push the other one out of the way first. And I know the end point. Oh, this also looks like a gazing face. I feel like the faces are just constantly looking at important things. Push block puzzles. But if I have to, it's really easy, easy to reset the room. Really easy. Maggie, hi, how are you? Welcome in. Happy Thursday. Yeah, I'm just, we're gonna do a little bit of trial and error. This one gets stuck like that. That was weird. I feel like that's never happened before. I'm doing good. Technically, it's my Friday. Oh, yeah! Heck yes. Enjoy. I feel like that block has never fallen all the way to the ground like that. Maybe it's now because it knows I got this other block, it's ready to go. Oh, except this is half on top of them, so I, it's still not going to work. Weird. I really thought I was doing something here. It happened once when you had the game muted for lo-fi. Oh, well, such is life. There. <laughs> this should count. <laughs> Sorry. That was loud. Oops, accidental reset. So I can't do it that way. But there's so few options here. Once a Friday, yeah. going on up here? Anything? No. Should go without saying that sound hint behavior is not intended and definitely a bug in the game. Oh, that sound. Okay, yeah. No worries. I definitely, for sounds though, I'm gonna keep on the game music. It was just the first day that like the music was really grinding. And I did not like it, but since then, it's been fine. Macchiato, hi. Welcome in. Gonna go to sleep, but wanted to drop by. Thank you. It's good to see you. I hope you have a good sleep. A human riding a dragon-shaped machine. We've talked about the flow of the dragon in the Endless Corridor. 
I feel like... Okay, let's do this. I'm not gonna be ashamed to do this several different ways. Here, let's do this. I think this is gonna work. I've got streamer brain. I have to just try things, otherwise I'll never be able to puzzle it out in advance. Is that because you had the music turned down or because you got more accustomed to the music? I think a little bit of both. I think first day of streaming a game is always like kind of a lot of nerves and just a lot of chat and a lot of new people and there's music and there's new mechanics and like you're self-conscious because you're not learning the mechanics yet. But we got the switch. Ooh, fancy new ladder, and we got the shell horn. Yes. Can this yes. skeleton yes. please move? Yes. Can you move out of the way? Because I'm afraid if I hit you, I'll get knocked back, knocked back, and it'll reset the room. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Stimulation. I know it's just so many things at once, soul. Ooh, Snake Sanctuary, and here's the Ankh. But I don't have the Ankh Jewel for the Gate of Guidance yet. But I have another Ankh Jewel. I feel like I should go save first. We have 30 health, what do you think? Where is this on the map? Here? In this room? And I've never been here before but it's also the snake sanctuary. I should have probably marked the Ankh on the other map. I know where it is. I'm not gonna lose track of it. My bops were stuck. Oh, interesting. <laughs> probably don't wanna do all that again. No, no, no. Let's, in fact, go heal. Just because. How many times can I switch through this menu of sub-weapons? I need my trusty buckler. Yes! 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 Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Okay. I can always warp back. Skip the walking. And then, the closest to the snake room, I don't think there's a quicker- oh, maybe from Spring in the Sky? Mm, no. Just the regular Gate of Guidance is fine to get there. Don't jump over that, I want that. And we want to go down. And down and right. And this is the room of the strong, and the skeletons stay gone. Oh, good. That's how I got down to only thirty health. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's just check it out. Is this snake mural on the wall something I can examine? No. Are there any breakable walls in here? Can I examine the onk? No. You can't use the hand scanner on it. Snake! Oh, this is one of the children! Wait. A large body? A body of a snake? Look. Children. That's exciting. This is horrifying. It's also twin snakes? Are these the twins? Where's my buckler? 
This is when I need the heat proof case. Oh, 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 is my buckler on fire? I think I just burnt it to a crisp. <laughs> Okay, this fight is more manageable than the giant. So far. Oops, wrong button. No! My caltrops! <laughs> my caltrops, my buckler! Everything is not going so well. How heatproof are we? Not very heatproof. Come back down here. I don't like you being all the way at the top of the screen like that the whole time. I'm gonna run out of everything. <gasps> Yay! It was worth it! I gotta buy a new buckler. We jump up and down. Congratulations, you've obliterated M. Fisbana. But the adventure... Continues. Hang on, I need a pencil. We got an email. Oh, there's a bat. Our health was destroyed. Amphisbana. That was exciting! Yay! Thanks for the congrats. We needed a nap. We immediately went to sleep. Cool. Did I get anything in my inventory from that? No. Confidence. And no more shurikens. Urgent. Come back. ASAP. Come back to my tent now. Something bad has happened. Uh oh. It's because I got one of the guardians. Something bad has happened. I ruined my buckler. I'm gonna do a new save. This is after the Guardians in section two. I hate this guy. <laughs> you made it! Actually, I called you back for no good reason. I'm just bored. Sorry. Haha. -ha. Don't get all mad. Please take a seat and eat some of my homemade bat curry. Anyway, being an archaeologist sure seems dangerous. Even after I warned you about the monsters and traps, you still went into the ruins. If you can solve all the puzzles without dying, you might actually meet the legendary four philosophers. If they actually exist. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna write that down. But I have died already, so... <laughs> oh, Zelfud, you jokester. If you solve all puzzles, without dying. I mean, I guess I haven't died according to my save files. Like, every time you die, it resets you. But I've died a lot. <laughs> Um, philosoph- how do you spell this? Whatever. I need to write Amphisbana over here because I might forget to go back to the previous pages when I'm, like, putting these into my digital notes. Um. Guardians equal children? Question mark? Body of a snake and body of a large body of a large body. Okay, that's all I've got for the moment This curry is tasty. You want to hear that again? No Goodbye I thought something bad was gonna happen Sorry, it's me Sorry about lying about the emergency in the last email, but it would be nice if you'd come up to the surface. No, you guys are so annoyed
Every time I come up here, you tell me to go away because you're playing video games. How much is the buckler? 50? I think it's over here. We're good on weights. I don't need more weights. It's only 10? Oh! <gasps> We're so blessed. I can't go without my buckler. Has it ever been useful? No, I don't care. Alright, let's, uh... Continue! Body of a large body has the same vibes as large boulder the size of a small boulder. The buckler money sink. I'll never save up for a heatproof case if I keep buying bucklers. Oh, and I don't have caltrops, but like... Caltrops are underrated. I should use them more, but I don't. And it's one less thing I have to worry about spending on. At least I want a non-zero number of caltrops if I want to experiment with them, like the time that I used them for the breakable wall. And also, sometimes enemies drop them, so that's good. It's a boy who cried wolf scenario. One of the days something bad will happen and you'll be like, oh, Zelput playing another one of his pranks. Yeah, I almost completely muted him day- I did mute him day one. I turned off the software. Wrap the buckler in a heatproof case. I like it. Big buckler screwing over the little guy. Too bad you can't buy more bucklers and strap them all over your body. I like this plan. Come talk to me. Go away, I'm busy. Is this guy a cat in disguise? Very likely. So, interestingly though, I used the Ankh jewel from the mausoleum on the Ankh in the Gate of Guidance, which is good, because now we know that we can do that. But now I should probably go find the Ankh jewel in the Gate of Guidance. Probably. Or go to Sun Temple or something like that. Buckler's safety for the mind is called believe in self, yeah. Okay. So we finished beyond the path of gazing faces. That has been resolved, we think. You know, I think. There's a chest in this room called the Gate of Giant Faces? What is this that I marked? And this is a trap door. And then there's this chest where I'm supposed to sh show three lights to the heavens. I still have no idea what that means. Or rather... With the items I have available, I don't know how to do that. Where is... Why am I not seeing- oh, there's the Cliff of Radiance. I didn't color code it yet. I'm gonna color code the Cliff of Radiance because I kept losing track of it. We should go back down here. We should go back down to these rooms in this, like, lower portion. Miseroy, hi, welcome in. How are you? Oh, I can't. Good thing this is pencil. Cliff of Radiance. I think the Cliff of Radiance is two rooms, but I kind of forget. How, like, how many times do I look back and forth like this? From the map to the screen, to the map to the screen, to the map to the screen. Let's go back to Room of the Strong. This is such a relief to not have those red skeletons in here anymore. That's where the trap door is. This is above... 
Oh, this is Gate of Giant Face. Oh yeah, there's a chest in here, but I don't know how to get to it. And I don't want to hit it with the whip because then the money will pop out and then I won't be able to get the money. The ruins are good. I got, um, I defeated Amph Amphisbana. And we fought the giant who I'm not, I think is Fudo, but I'm not totally sure yet. We fought them a few times, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. Pretty sure that's a push door. Pretty sure there's like a whole riddle about it. Maybe we go back down to the Cliff of Radiance. That's the snake temple. The one thing even more scary than eyes to whip nearby. Money chests, yeah. The giant is tough, yeah. And I'm I'm kind of trying to figure out if there's more clues I need to to figure out the secret or if I just need to get stronger or I'm not sure yet. Ta, thank you for the good luck. Hello. All you have to do is murder them, then you can finally find out their name. If only you could just ask them. If only I could examine them prior to the fight. Let me scan you. Oh, maybe I got a health refill because I got... I was wondering why it happened earlier, but maybe I got enough of the little green bubbles. What happens if I... Okay, science. So this isn't a trap door. But this is the second I step over there. Oh god. I'm so bad with this whip. Sometimes I get lucky and hit something midair. Most of the time I just face plant. Hold still, I want to scan your face! I wish La Mulana 1 told you the name of the boss you were fighting like La Mulana 2 does. Oh, it does? That's nice. Yeah, we- today we, um, we did that. I got the Death Village software, which I can't use yet, apparently. Um... I theorized, or I guess learned a little bit about, like, the children all have these different bodies. So I think this is Amphisbena was the first child. The second child is... The giant. Wait, but then this comes with a whole other thing. Where it says the fourth child was destroyed by the god of wind. But there is no first, second, third... So are there no how to strike down how to strike down children instructions until later? What am I saying? I don't know. We'll come back to that. Right now I'm trying to find the other Ankh jewel because I used a different Ankh jewel for the Amphisbana fight. I love the visual cues in this with some of these like cables in the background. Hi, Loki. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. <laughs> some, Because there's some things you can tell are connected because the environment puts like a little bit of a a pipe or something. Google, how do I fight children? I know, look, it's not what it sounds like. Alright, we're going down here. How come there's a shell horn every time I get beat up by spikes? That's rude. And how come there's all these portraits of ONs in here? Half man, half fish. I don't know. 
I don't have a shiny red light to show off in this room anymore. Can't have poggers without progress. Progress. Thank you. <laughs> Programming is worth worse in this regard where child processes are owned by their parent processes and get killed regularly. Oh no. And this room is frustrating because it has an eyeball in it. So if I want to try to destroy, like, I'm going to do it. See, my theory before that walls protected me from the eye, totally false. If I want to try to destroy the foot of the Cliff of Radiance, which is supposedly where the Ankh Jewel is, I get struck down by lightning. Do we think it's this block? Maybe it has something to do with that block. And here's a gazing face. I'm afraid to use my whip now because anything I do is gonna get me electrocuted. Cliff of Radiance. And there's a room to the right of this. Ugh. I want to try to break this wall. But the eyeball is right there. Okay, we have to leave anyway. Should I go heal? This was a waste of a trip. I feel like I need more health to just try breaking a bunch of walls in that room. You think the buckler will prevent me- will protect me from lightning? <laughs> I really want the buckler to serve some purpose. It really doesn't. Maybe it will. I can still hold on to hope. Okay, instead of jumping down the gate of the giant faces, this time we're going to go past this room, or at least try to. Hopefully I'm not struck down by a bat. And then we're going to go down this way. There are shops in these ruins. Yes, I'm aware. The shops are good. Did I end up buying the um the shop key that tells me oops, wrong button. When there's one nearby. It doesn't look like like I bought it yet. I think it was expensive. I think it was like 50 or 60 coins. You can answer that. If I if you know if I bought it or not, but I think it would show up in my inventory if I had. I'm pretty sure I've tried- oops. Hi little blobby guys. I've tried to break these statues before. What did you ask? Um, I think- I was asking if I had bought the thing that tells me when a shop is nearby. I didn't have enough. Okay. Thanks, Jim. This room is the one right here with this switch. Oh, you can't see what I'm pointing at at all. Right here. At some point, something I do will give me 
all these missing staircases, right? Is that a breakable wall? Doesn't seem like it. Here's the push door. And there's a note that says the push door is how you get to the Cliff of Radiance. Okay, now we're gonna get electrocuted. I can't just keep pushing it to the right. I don't understand. Oh, you can, like, push it in there, but it doesn't mean anything. Just a little nudge. The foot. Of the cliff of radiance. Okay, let's go. We can get electrocuted one more time. This is letting me? Why? I should be able to get in here. There's a room to the right of this. The key has been hidden in a newly constructed wall, but this isn't the watchtower, this is the gate of guidance. But maybe the key I need for this room is in the watchtower. And maybe this isn't the foot of the Cliff of Radiance. Maybe the foot of the Cliff of Radiance is in the room next door. A watchtower soars above the Temple of the Sun. Traps to capture thieves have been newly set in a newly constructed wall, too. The key has been hidden. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it. Cheers! Nope, that's the wrong button. Have some BMOs. Here's the hydrate button. <laughs> Bimo will also also wants you to hydrate. A newly constructed wall. Do any of these bits of wall look new? Why is it letting me whip stuff? Does it have one one jolt per visit to the room? I don't think so. Weird. It's not letting me examine this eye. Oh, there we go. Maybe it only- because this is a holy object here, this pillar. But nothing else in this room is a holy object. I don't know. I feel like... inconsistent. I feel like I need a key. What is this the entrance to? The Sun Temple? Yeah, there's my sun temple drawing right there. Okay, um... I'm 
go back to the Monument of Time. Because I feel like I haven't been to the entrance of the mausoleum in a long time. I can't get back this way. And then and then maybe I'll need another another very subtle nudge. I like that you have a notebook that's a must for this game. I don't know, like oh how come that that trapdoor didn't get me? Whoops. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know how people would play without a notebook. Like I was talking to my friend to my friend Mel. I was talking to Mel. Many of you know him. And he said he had tried this game a while back and wasn't like super into it. And he was like, can you remind me what it what it is? Are you liking it? And I was like, yeah, I'm really liking it because it, the majority of it is like taking notes and drawing a map and writing stuff down and like thinking through my memory. Have I seen this before? Do I know this name? Um, and I, I, uh, it's a hard pitch if you don't like doing homework and like written notes for your gaming. I don't think I've ever seen Mel take notes for a game. No shade, no shade to Mel. But he was like, yeah, that doesn't really sound like me. That's probably why I dropped it. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I should probably write down what all these save files are too. We, I went to a new set of saves after the first boss victory. So maybe we'll keep this one as like, this was the first save I made post boss victory and then I'll just use this one a bunch now. This will be my default. But it gives you so many save files. Maybe each page is for a different player. I really only need one. Anyway, uh, I said I was going back to the Monument of Time and I got distracted. But yeah, I like the notebook. I like the digital notes. I like the map drawing. I should screen share the digital notes at some point so you can see those too. Um, it's not, I mean, it just looks like a very bare bones wiki page. Okay, this is all Pit of the Holy Grail. And then, is this the Monument of Time? Yeah. I figured out where the Cliff of Radiance is. There's a door. We know about the push door. And this doesn't have a chest in it or anything. It has these tablets that tell us about the rain of blood and fire and the flood and the wind and all that. It's time for another stretch break. Okay. Um What what are we what do you all where should we go next? What do you all have for a nudge? Very okay. We've done very good, very subtle nudges before. Does anybody have anything in mind already? I've read that before. You have another ready? I remember old times. I was so normal. We sit with pen and paper to figure out games. No internet, no cheat sheets, no hints or help. Crabby Cyclops. The, um, the spring in the sky. Petra, you can give yours too. And then we'll go on our stretch break and I'll think about it. Because that worked last time, so maybe it'll work this time. Do not fear the one observing the ends of ages. Okay. I like it. I'm going to write both of those down. The one... These are nice and cryptic.
I gave up on the Krabby Cyclops fight because... I don't know. I was getting beat up. <laughs> and I didn't like it. <laughs> Lefty Pride! We have so many lefties watching this playthrough! Heck yes. Make sure you're making mine as non... Non-canon. Okay, fair. I'll just write hints. My ex was a lefty. Lefty pride. Um. Oh, I was gonna search. Yeah, because what you said, Petrie, I was gonna search that in the other notes and see if I if that was like a tablet I needed to revisit the message of, but it sounds like it won't show up if I search it. The one observing... Yeah, no match is found. Okay, that's non-canon. I'm right-handed, but do a lot of things with my left. I do some things with my right. I use scissors with my right, because most scissors are right-handed. Um, I've learned, as you all know, from the nail art streams, I've learned to paint my left hand with my right hand. What else? Those are the biggest. Okay. Do we have music requests for break? I'll probably just stay here. And then I'll show you my digital notes when we get back. Prefer both? Mind you, I can't write properly with either hand. OOC notes. Thanks everyone, enjoy the break. Um, I'm going to make this one a slightly longer one for bathroom and snack, and then we can go even longer with the stream. Painting your left hand with your left hand is super difficult. It's a little challenging. I learned to do things without writing things down. Nice. A different kind of talent. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. I enjoyed the break music. This has grown on me so much. Hi. It does have some good music, yeah. And we haven't even found your favorite track yet. Oh my goodness. Let me show you my digital notes. How do I do this? Add window capture. Oh yeah, that worked. Thanks to Petrie for showing me this software. So after stream, I go in and put my handwritten notes in here so they're searchable. And I have it organized by... Uh, Sacred Lake is in the wrong spot, but like... All the regions have their own entry. So like Twin Labyrinth, and then Twin Labyrinth has tablets and skeleton clues that I found there. But then if there's a specific topic that I want to break out, like the brothers... The brothers have their own tab, and then I can link. So, like when we were doing the sun and the moon stuff, I linked Leto to the sun, the sky disc, G to the sky disc, Beto to the sky disc. Um, and then here's the sky disc entry, which has Eden, and then place by the moonlight. Um, ONs every time that comes up, generic like spring in the sky things. Keys. I have an entry for keys every time that's come up. It's been a life changer for you. I, I will get more and more used to it for the game, and then I'm sure I will think of reasons to use it in the future. I have one for outer space. I have one for what I think to be sigils, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm not sure why this is marked as a date. The onks. Stuff about the village is just Argus right now. So yeah, it's really cool. I don't show it because I don't like tabbing in and out of the game and the notes on stream a ton. Um, and the handwritten notes are kind of fun. I clicked on daily note probably on accident. But it's really, really useful for organizing stuff. And it gives me an excuse to like study my homework after stream. <laughs> so... You know. 
I can understand better if I go back in and reread everything I already wrote. Okay. If you press Control G, we can see the fancy graph. The, my fancy graph doesn't look that cool yet, but I can show you. It's this mode, right? Yeah. No, it's kind of cool. I just feel like I have a lot of individual points because of the archaeology terms. This one I just made individual notes for all of these. Um, and I might regret that later, but this is what La Mulana looks like so far. <laughs> Temple of the Sun. Nebris Sky Disk has a lot of nodes. Spring in the Sky. Brothers. It's cool. It's pretty cool. Outer space. Oh, god. <laughs> Sorry. You can't hear it at all. Duncan's cat tree needs to be anchored to the wall because it's like pushed flush, but lately every time he gets up on it, it like hits the wall and it sounds like a door knocking. <laughs> it scares me every time. It's not. It's just Duncan, but I really need to anchor it to the wall. Okay, now that I've panicked over that, let's get back to the game. We are not fearing the one observing the ends of the ages. The ninth child? Knock knock, it's Duncan! He switched to another rest spot. He's not in the, the cat bed anymore. Um... I don't know. I need to get a fresh- now that I've stepped away, I need to get a fresh insight on the end of the ages. Is that where my- what my Sakit note talks about? The youngest. No. Is that what- Abudo talks about being the last remaining? No. Observing the ends of the ages. I don't know what that means yet. The ages, like the monument of time, that's what both of these rooms are. I'm gonna color code this. Put these two back. I have a little cup for the colored pencils so they can stay up and out of the way during stream. Also very helpful. Monument of time. Magnets? What about magnets? Okay. Oh, you mean this eye? This one's this one's a sham? No, this one has definitely shocked me before. This one's observing the ends of the ages. But maybe there's a breakable wall in there. Maybe it's this this head. Normally these faces don't do much. Magnets for the pencils? For these? But they're not... <laughs> but they're not magnetic. Anyway, they're up out of the way. It's fine. <laughs> I solved it already. I 
only have 87 health, too. I do fear- I do fear all of the eyeballs, as I should. They're scary as heck. Human I wanna read beings, this again. Trav! Are weird. Hi Trav, welcome in. How's it going? Thanks for the 21 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badger emotes, your ad free viewing. We're so glad to have you. You're getting spoiled. 87 health is- oh, I know, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> it was more than I had in the beginning, you're right. I instantly got used to more health. Happy Thursday, it's good to have you here. What do you think of the new schedule? Okay, there's no eyeball in here, so I can try to break some of these walls. I can go back in this shop. <laughs> I forget what's in this shop. Is this breakable? I think this door in front of the shop was breakable. Oh, this is a good shop. What is this? Oh, right. Every time. It's 60. Buy more! We're good. Nice. I like Thursday night schedule. I didn't have a stream for my Thursday night routine. All right. Magus, you were definitely one of the people I knew was looking for another weekday too. I didn't forget. It just, I haven't been able to switch it until now. I didn't want to add another stream and keep the sat, like, I didn't want to stream five times a week set in stone. If we're feeling it, I can add a fifth, but I don't want to like have five always on my plate. I just feel like that's not enough time if I'm gonna keep making videos and clips. I have to have a day to do that and not stream. Too long of an explanation, but... <laughs> what if I try to whip the eye itself? Hmm. All right, science. I wonder if I need to, also that was 40 damage, not 30. Whip them in the right order. Or if that's not what the hint is referring to at all, which is fine. I wanna find this is the original Ages note that I found, which was in the labyrinth. Maybe we go back to the labyrinth for a bit. Survivors of the first child. Does that mean... The survivors of the snake, and now that the snake is gone, something happens? I don't know. I'm down for streams any, every day. Thanks, Trav. Appreciate it. <sighs> There's a difference between ages and... children. So like the first age the th the twins we are the twins the third children? No. Are the twins the second children? No, cuz the second child is the one with the large body, maybe? Unclear. Turkey corn welcome in. Yeah, it's like uh yeah, that is kind of what it is. It's oh my god, what is the name of the Pig from Diddy Kong Racing. That's who it is. Okay, we're go we're gonna go to the Twin Labyrinths and just and check it out. Whiz Pig. 
I haven't played that game in so long, but I loved it as a kid. First Age of Sun destroyed by the flood. Man, this is this is this is a lot. I wish this one said something. The first age of the sun was destroyed by flood. The second age was destroyed. So it's not the children that were destroyed, it's the ages that were destroyed. No, it says both. The second age and the fourth child were destroyed by the god of wind and fire. No, what? God of wind. I can't read my own notes. It has zoomies, yeah. This is confusing. Do I have a twins warp? I don't. So how do we get back to the labyrinth? I forget. This is the Temple of the Sun, Altar of Mirrors, which we can't get into yet. Oh, it's here. It's the Mausoleum of Giants. Okay. Maybe we'll go back there for a minute. I wish I had a save tablet in the labyrinth. A tablet in the labyrinth. It's weirdly kind of a tongue twister. Waiting for the elevator. Still waiting for the elevator. The bat's gonna ruin my plans. Nope, it's fine. I didn't really need to wait for that. Oh, good thing I didn't get crushed. Oh, right. Strength lies at the foot of Fudo. But which one is Fudo? Who's Fudo? There's a little lizard. I think this is the tablet I'm looking for. No. The twins were the sole survivors of the first child. The hero of the third child captured them and thus obtained the wisdom of the first child. I was just reading that. It doesn't make sense yet. I will softly glide into sleep. Sweet dreams, y'all. Have a good sleep, kitty. Good dreams to you, too. We'll see you around. This area is very scary. There's the dolphin. The dolphin statue. The shop. The eyeball. Maybe I should focus my efforts on the dang heat proof case. Maybe then I can go through that door. And I remember this, um, this Ankh jewel is a fake Ankh jewel. It's not real. And that enemy is terrifying. 
But maybe I have to fight them. It is red. Do I have to fight all the red enemies? I don't know. The heat proof case is... I don't think I put the um, shop notes into the digital notes. So I should probably do that. I don't know where that is. Can't find it. This music is fun. Oh, eight, 80 coins. And it's in the Temple of the Sun. It's just bats in an Ankh jewel shaped trench coat. It really is. We're only at 50 coins, so can't do that quite yet. Oh, there's no eyeball in this room. I was like, I'm surprised it's not yelling at me. There's a tablet. Have I read that tablet? I'm so spoiled on health. Oh no. How do I fight you? With Caltrops! And this isn't a real shop, it's a fake shop. And if we just keep going and going forever, I'm gonna get lost. I don't have a map here, I don't have a save tablet here. It's the worst. I don't understand either of the nudges. I haven't had an epiphany yet. I just want to run around and explore. Oh, the gate of the twins. This gate is said to have materialized as a result of the twins' desire to travel far as they felt hindered by their snake form. Oh. That makes more sense. Because there were two snakes in one boss. Okay, I'm going to write this down. Hi, Admiral. Welcome in. How are you? Gate of, and I'm going to write Labyrinth so I know where this was. Although, I'll just put this in the Twins notes. Materialized. Oh, I'm losing my pencil completely. That's, that's all the lead I have left? No! I have more pencil lead somewhere. As a result of twins' desire to travel far. Hindered by snake. Oh, my writing today is terrible. Snake. Form. More terrible than usual. I hope there are sufficient tablets in your house hinting at the location of sa sacred pencil lead. <laughs> I don't know. Can you please move away from that ladder? I need to use it. Thank you. We're just going up and up and up. Oh, is that an exit? No. This place doesn't strike me as a place with a lot of exits. But after the first couple rooms, there weren't any more eyeballs. So that was nice. We only have 14 health. 
<sighs> what happens if I exit like this? Oh, that takes you back to the entrance, similar to the Endless Corridor. That's fun. Okay, I'm bored of the labyrinth. <laughs> go heal. We need to save up money. I forgot what it's like to not have the Hermes boots too. I don't even notice it anymore. Save. Now we go to... Where do we go? Let's go back to Spring in the Sky. I don't know, I the nudges aren't, aren't, aren't ringing any bells, so I'm gonna just explore here for a little bit and see what happens. We've got the Sacred Lake puzzle. We've got the Watchtower key. Um, I feel like there's a room with the name Watchtower somewhere that I should probably try to go back and find. Trying to solve the three block puzzle at the Gate of Guidance without the Hermes boots. Oh, interesting. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I mean, I'll save here just so I remember what I was trying to accomplish in this save. Okay, we're at three and a half hours, too. We're doing good. We've got plenty of time. I'm really sad that nothing has made some of these staircases appear yet, though. Have I ever- wait, hang on. Have I ever walked over here ever since I got the scale sphere? Oh, it doesn't have a message for me. I was wondering if that would be helpful. Mural of Owens, the ph the Philosopher's Den, Aqueduct, pigs, so many pigs, and a little symbol over there, which I have marked. New music for a little bit. <laughs> Oh, nope. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that was a lot of money. 69 coins, nice. Too bad, I guess I'll never be able to get the heat proof case. get up to those ledges. Have to use the elevator for those. I don't know how to get up there. Gotta break that vase. At least the bats aren't back. Whee! I 
don't think I can make it. I don't know where I think this wall would go to, but it just seems suspicious for whatever reason. Okay, um... What about down here? Anything? No. Let's continue onward. Ow. This area is very dangerous. This is Mirror Waterfall. Okay. Surprise fish never disappoints. It's truly loyal. Oh yeah, this room. What the heck is up with this room? The number of times I've tried to whip this little tiny corner of wall. Money. This water moves the tower, transformed power, it flows from here. More murals, a switch. Above the sun is spring in the sky. A pedestal that I don't know how to push. Is this? I've tried to observe this before and it won't let me. A goat! Oh, I missed the jump. Oh well. And there's not much I can do down here. Hang out and swim around. Have we? Thanks for the posture check. I appreciate it. For me and for all the chat. Um... Have we... Did I... Okay, I didn't have the Amphisbana name in my digital notes, so I don't think I found it anywhere on the map. This is... Anunnaki. I'm wondering... There's wings! I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is the name of the next boss. If this is Sword Through the Sky. You know what I mean? Maybe. Just just something that sounds interesting. But I don't know what to do here yet. <sighs> and now I'm kind of stuck down here. Okay, let's do this. Do we want to go back to the boss fight room? The Krabby Cyclops? I'm afraid of that room. Oh no. No! Stupid bats. Stupid bats. Ooh, I do want that money, though. That was helpful. I used a shuriken and I got a shuriken back. Okay. Defeated your 
first proper boss, you're still afraid? Yes, I'm still afraid. I don't feel well equipped. Oh, that bubble still hit me all the way up there. Okay, let's go this way. This is Sacred Lake. I wonder if there's a way to, like, fall... Like, break this floor... And fall under so that I can get to this block? We have clues about the sacred lake. I have a picture of this room. Heal thine tired body, the fairy will gently heal. Help thy fight, provide treasure, reveal secrets. I gotta get that pendant. Fairy just sounds like a way to cheat. <laughs> like early help that I really need. Okay, I dropped the block. Does that make something happen? This game is hard, there's no cheating. But if you have help at the right time, or early, the jellyfish really won out. I think they're fine. <laughs> I don't think they'll make it not in the water. Ugh. <laughs> uh. How do I get under there? See where that water flows and then it falls down to that other area? That seems suspicious, right? I'm just gonna start whipping every wall. Huh. Can this go through here? No. about this block. Also, the whip doesn't do any damage below where I'm standing, so if I'm trying to break blocks underneath me, I need to use the caltrops. Of which I only have two. Oh, that's still gone? That platform is permanently gone because I stood on it for too long. I don't know the last time I saved. I think I have to hit your eye. Oops, buckler. I thought I was gonna be using a shuriken. Do I have to hit you in the eye? None of this is working. Rude. Are you Futo? Is there strength at your foot? If you do the right, like, laser trajectory, will it come back into your own eye and hit you in your own eye? Good job, Jen. I don't like this. What does this say again? Collect the four sigils, the path will expand further still.
Found some in-dev screenshots from 2009 which showed a holy grail symbol where your hand scanner is visible. Huh. That's cool. I don't think the math ever maths out for you to hit yourself in the face. Oh, that was close. Aw, oh, it doesn't do anything. That lined up perfect. I don't have, like, a mirror to shine this back at you. Oh my god. Is it only when your eye is open? The hitboxes are nasty. I only have 11 of these left. I can't even jump high enough. To hit you. I hope I die, because I just lost all my supplies. Okay, if I jump into your shoulders. Here, we're gonna try again. I don't want to lose that many shuriken, because I'm trying to save money. That was annoying, though. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. I think we're just gonna fight that thing with sheer force of will. Because I don't know what else to do right now. Excuse me. I hate when I try to swim backwards like that. I'm doing okay, how are you? Uh, Samus? Samus Samsum. <laughs> Don't even touch the keyboard, just shout at it. <laughs> at least we're going in with more health this time. Cause I didn't waste my time looking around at nothing. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, it's alright. I got scared. Oh, shoot. Sam? Okay. Look, I'm trying. Come on. <laughs> I saw Samus. I thought maybe you were a Metroid fan. We've got a lot of those here. I'm impatient with this elevator. Okay, well that was a fail. No. Elevator, please come back. This is looking like it's lined up a lot better. Now I just have to be patient here. I'm a Metroid fan, but more of a sumo wrestler fan. Nice! Oh, I wanted to jump down there. That's okay. Oh, am I gonna get squish? No. Phew. I thought I was. No, oh my god. La Meza, I hate you. Please, your knockback is so brutal. I'm just trying to get to this stupid fight. It's never taken me this long to get to this room before. I'm having a good day. Yeah, thanks. We've uh, we've made some good discoveries today. Oh, pff. I'm just failing at getting up this elevator. You can't be impatient in this game. You might find a new path below if you keep getting knocked down. I don't know what you mean, but please don't actually give 
hints if there is one. Such a relevant picture from the manual? No, I am not right now. <laughs> Thank you, but no. I just want to get up this stupid elevator. It's probably about knockback or something. Okay, this fish is gonna beat me up, but I'm gonna overcome it. Yay! Now we only have 85 health. There's no way. Like, there's not enough I mean, maybe there's enough health to just, like, tank through it. It doesn't seem like the right strategy to just go flinging myself at his shoulders every time. Not worth it. Arrive home from cinema, I watch Megan. Oh, I want to go see Megan! Not... More funny than scary. Oh, got it. Not a hint, I've never played that. Okay, well, I don't know that immediately, so it reads as a hint. Combat seems brutal. It's not, it's just really janky controls. And most of the game's not super combat heavy anyway. Um, and like, I don't really wanna fight this boss right now because most of the game, something somewhere tells you like an item that will help you or um, I don't know what order to do things in. You get a lot of, like, hints and clues as you're progressing through. And this one I haven't found anything like that for yet, so I'm just kind of like, oh, we'll try to fight it. But I definitely think there's some strategy that I need to uncover, and I haven't yet. We can go buy the heatproof case instead. No, it's 80. But yeah, I don't know anybody that'll tell you that the game doesn't have janky controls. It's not- I don't know if janky- like, I don't even mean that in a bad context or like a bad, um, what's the word? Connotation? They just are. Like, just the jump alone is enough to be like, why is this so delayed and feels so strange? Games that make you commit to jumps like this are so mean and largely out of date for a reason, yeah. Especially now, like, oh my god, that stupid fish. When there's other games, so many other games, that don't feel like this at all. To have this one feel this way is like, oh, okay, this was a choice. You get used to it eventually, but it's pretty clunky, yeah. Okay, I made it. Phew! The game has elements that are out of date for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> the jump reminds me of NES Castlevanias. Ooh, I have not played those. Like, it just... <laughs> Come on, the buckler reflects it. No, it just breaks. I saw it turning red, so it's cool that you get a visual indicator that your buckler is about to break. I'm not buying another one, I'm trying to save money! Maybe if I jump over you... ...and use the caltrops every time... 
That's how I can do this. Let's go buy some caltrops. Stop it! <laughs> I can't even get close enough to hurt you. Okay, please make it end. This is not the move right now. Another ten bucks down the drain. Nope. I got it back. Lama Lana 2 strikes a much better balance between restrictive jump that makes you think, but also gives you more air control. Faxanadu? I don't know that one. Hi, Daxon. Welcome back. Let's go not get to Lama Lana 2 just yet. I haven't played this, but the jumping looks straight out of NES Castlevania. Nice. Jank equals bad. It's just a bit... does not equal bad. It's just a bit awkward. awkward. Excuse me. There are some incredibly fun jank games out there. Anyone plays pre-Steam Dwarf Fortress? Jumping the game comes with a free engagement ring and a wedding date. Yeah, it's a lot of commitment to jumps. Um, I don't, I don't mind jank and like I don't know. We've played probably the most jank game I've played is NES Metroid, and I it's not jank. It just feels so different from anything else I've ever played. What else? Anything else feels super floaty and weird or like really committing to jumps? I don't know. What else do I want to do in here? Ah, oh, I need another nudge. We're at four hours. And I don't know what to do. Xanadu was fun. Action platformer with Metroidvania elements. Maybe some RPG elements. Nice. You want me to elaborate further on previous nudge or try to give a different nudge? Um, I would like for <sighs> Do you think it's too spoilery to ask like what area to focus on for your previous nudge? And fishies, I'll take yours too, so I have another thing to like chip away at. Comment on previous nudges success rate. Yeah. I mean, I started looking at ages, and then I was just like, I don't know what this means. So we kind of abandoned it to try to either spark something that was recognizable or find something else. Because I thought I was on to something with the Gate of Guidance, but... I don't know what. The area reveal would be fine. Platforms illuminated. See, and that... I know we have the area in the Temple of the Sun that says, cast a light, da 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 da. And it shows like the picture of the lantern with the platforms when you say platforms illuminated that makes me think like and don't confirm this but that makes me think go back to temple of the sun there's invisible platforms in gate of guidance and that's usually where the gazing faces show you and to like jump across the, the gazing faces but i don't have a light i don't have a lamp so anything that's like illumination and lanterns and show a light to the heavens, I don't got it. I might have to sleep on those too. I'll write that down. Um, Petra, you can safe word give me the area for the first nudge and then I'll have two things to think about. Three things if I think about Krabby Cyclops, which I feel like, I don't know, I don't wanna assume but I feel like that's just to go back and try this boss again, which I did and I'm not feeling it. It was about Gate of Guidance. Okay, cool. Thank you. That makes me feel better that I was 
not just pulling it something out of thin air. Platforms illuminated, and then this is Gate of Guidance. The name from Fa from Famicom, the system it's on, plus Xanadu, the series, it's a spin-off. Oh, I was I was wondering, because Xanadu is a is a game, <laughs> right? That was familiar, but not with the um prefix in front of it. Okay, we're back. I think it's a frustrating Twitch playthrough to... I think it's a frustrating Twitch playthrough. Like, it's the type of game where I want to make progress and get through stuff and keep playing and like keep streaming, but some days we're gonna get progress at the beginning of a stream and then unless I take hints like not hit anything for a while which is fine there's no rush for this playthrough um I want to give the game the attention it deserves but for streaming that can be hard sometimes you know you've picked up uh, things and mechanics that might not feel like progress but are valid things thank you I definitely feel like I notice certain, um, s some things when I read my notes, I'm like, oh, wait, maybe this is related. Like, I have certain connections formed. It's just not leading to concrete solutions. Always. Thanks, fishies. Appreciate it. I'm trying, I'm really trying. I wanted to come back up here, but I'm not seeing any sparks. Midair snack. We've got, oh, I need to get my gate of guidance map back. Pillar's gate. Heavenly Gate. Heavenly Temple of the Cross. Room of Courage. Heavenly Corridor. Gate of Giant Faces. What is this over here and why haven't I marked it? Have I never been over there? I think I have, I just haven't written down what the room name is. Is that where Eden is? That might be where Eden is. I think so. I'm getting lucky with some of the enemies giving me coins. No. Oh, that was scary. That bat was almost going to knock me down. Door to Eden. So I need a color for this. Let's do pink. Door to Eden. Which is here. And what's this one? This is all Pit of the Holy Grail. Those, like, three rooms? Have I used purple yet? Yeah. Have I used all my colors? I ran out of colors. Oh, blue. I haven't used blue yet. Just this one. I'm pretty sure all three of these are Pit of the Holy Grail. I could be wrong. We'll find out. But then I've labeled... Then I've labeled everything. Let's 
stop it. There's a snake mural in here. It just really feels like I'm supposed to get this staircase first. And what was this one? Oh, this has a picture on it that I never wrote down, but I think I know how this works now. There are eight Ankhs, Ankhs that protect the great spirits, seek the red light, the Ankh jewel, the guardians that slumber within the Ankh will test thy strength. So this shows us holding the Ankh jewel up to the Ankh, and then the snakes emerging. Fun. We didn't need the picture for that. I never wrote it down, and I should have, but good thing I learned that later. Okay, um, let's do some of this. Oh yeah, what about this? We did this block puzzle. I think I'm gonna jump off. This used to have a door in front of it. There's a, there's a door in this room that circles around to the other side of the map. There it is! I did see the snake before. So there are pictures of the bosses on the walls sometimes. So I'm gonna lean a little harder on my theory of Anunnaki being one of the other bosses, being the one that soars in the sky. In the spring. In the sky. This is also Pit of the Holy Grail. objects when the ruins are damaged. Somewhere there is a new bit of wall that has a key inside. No, that's that's still the watchtower. I still don't know what that means. And I can't I can't slash these. I've slashed them before. I have 99 health. Blood, wind, fire, blood, and fire. So if I try to slash you first. Oh, that time it did work. Finally. So if you just start with the wrong one, it'll absolutely strike you down. Wind. I don't like destroying these, they're kind of cool looking. I hope this makes the staircase next door. I hope that's what this does. Because these symbols are also next door. The eyeballs are so scary, they prevent you from doing so much in this game. Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> what was that? What? How did I ever get by without the shell horn? It's a tragedy. Wasn't sure how to get you hitting them other than the vague don't spear the- I totally- the hint made perfect sense. But I think- 
I decided to hit one of the random tablets because the first time I went in there after reading the ages of the children I observed them in that order and it didn't do anything I was like no it can't be that it can't be that and it totally was that but I needed to hit them in a specific order and I was so scared about the eyeball thanks to our you you all are too kind I heard a door open it sounded like it was to the right. I wonder if this... I If this has to do with the Ankh Jewel... Or... Not... I don't... I don't think it has anything to do with Eden. Eden, I think, is those, like, fancy decorated platforms and... Um... Uh... Whatever else chests thank you for the nudge I appreciate it excuse you rude I'm on a mission oh <gasps> yes onctual 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 yay oh no 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 <laughs> There wasn't something that I feel validated in that there wasn't something in this room that I just wasn't getting. You have to do all the other stuff first. Yes. Okay. Helpful. So much more to go. But now I have an Ankh Jewel back that I can show to all my friends. <laughs> hey, look at this. Hey, look at this! Look! Hey, look at this! Wait, isn't there still a room to the right of this one? That also has me confused still. Maybe, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Yeah, I am. Because this is the snake sanctuary room. That's where the boss fight was. Oh well, pretend that never happened. Pretend I never got confused about the room to the right of this one. Okay, so then, where's my pencil? I'm gonna use the colored pencil because I'm almost out of pencil lead. This was the switch. We hit the switch. This was a chest that wasn't even there, but now it's gone. We got the Ankh Jewel. We found the Ankh a while ago and beat the snake boss. <laughs> Thanks, fishies. <laughs> I wonder if there's an Ankh jewel or like an Ankh emote on Frankerface Z or something like that. I should look. We kind of passed our other stretch break too. Do you all want to take one last quick stretch break before the end of stream? Let me let me go look and see if there's an emote and rest my brain for a second. Let me see if Better TTV has one. Better TTV changed their logo. And I don't know if I like it. It's too different. It's not recognizable. Emotes. Global. No, I guess popular. They changed so much of their website. There's a lot of Anka from Animal Crossing. But I don't see any La Mulana reference. Oh, there's one. I don't think it's a La Mulana reference. I just think it's somebody else who made an Ankh emote. Mulana? Okay. Off topic. CS Ankh. It will, it will only work if I add it to my channel. Yeah. It exists. Do you all want to use it? I'll add it. <laughs> there you go. Now you should be able to see it. Enjoy the quick break. I will be right back. Thanks, everyone. I couldn't find the right button. That was a much-needed stretch break. I was, like, stretching at my neck. 
and doing some good, like where you hold your arm down and then you stretch this way and you hold your arm down on the other side, you stretch this way and it felt really good. I felt some little crackles. <laughs> Welcome back. I think there's been a lot of like leaning forward into my notes today. Gotta remember to sit back up when I'm done. Um. <laughs> so now we have another nudge about platforms. Platforms illuminated, which I can go with that because I like nudges. Um, I can go back and try to fight the giant again. Here's my current theory on the giant. Get a lot more health. And... A lot more ammo. Also, I wonder if the ammo, if I need to use that gun on the boss in Spring in the Sky, because the laser sight looks very similar. I wonder if that means anything. Hmm. For now... I kind of want to ride this elevator back up. Oops, I'm going to get hit by the bats. No. I kind of want to ride this elevator back up to look at the Eden room one more time before I abandon that and go back to Sun Temple. I think I want to go to Sun Temple next. I'm just wondering if there's platforms in here? Platforms illuminated, but where would they be? This room is baffling. I'm tempted to like step on this switch and just let the spikes crush me. And see if that, if anything happens. But I don't think this box is going to open. Maybe I should save before I do this. I don't think this box is going to open. I think the weight plate up in the top corner of the room is what's gonna open the treasure chest. I think, I think, I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm waffling, I'm wavering. Let's go save. Should we get health too, maybe? I haven't saved in a while. We'll be fine. Did you all stretch on break too? Or did you get anything... Anything done? I feel like sometimes I use break as an opportunity. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this earlier. Let me finish it before I forget again. No. I ruined it. I hate when these orbs get stuck in the wall like that. It's so rude. I would have liked to collect it. We're almost at a refill. You know I love science. Yeah. Good science. I'm just killing things in Minecraft on the side to grind. Nice.
do. I have 80 coins. Wait, let's go get the, uh, we have to go to the Temple of the Sun anyway, because that's where the heatproof case is. All right, perfect timing. We're going to heal, and then we're going to go to the Temple of the Sun shop. And then I don't know. Follow your heart. Which one is it? It's all the way on the other side. I wonder if it matters what order those are in the um in the menu. This area made me really frustrated last time. Hopefully I'll make some progress. Great thing about secret orbs is more max HP. The bad thing is it increases the size of the HP bar. The XP bar. Right, right, right. I read that too quickly. I'm just glad I finally figured out how the dang XP thing worked because I was clueless for a long time. And I was like, eh, it doesn't matter if I pick up these orbs or not. It's been interesting playing La Mulana Classic where the XP doesn't grow. Oh, that's fun. So the shop is... Oh, I never checked off this chest, but I did get it. And I think this switch over here just opens a door, but I can't remember. This is the shop. Call it whatever you like. The manual calls the floating collectible soul stones. Hmm. Oh, um... You could send the thing from the manual now if you want, Petrie. I was so salty earlier trying to get to the top of that thing. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to know right now. <laughs> Tell me later. I'm so sorry. Oh, I wonder if you can ever get those to fall into that one slot that looks like a circle. Who is that in the background? How do I get over there? This room looks so important. Can I make this? There we go. Thank you. Wait, this is La Mulana too. Is this spoilers? <laughs> this is cute. Yeah, that's me. My outline imprinted on the ground of that dang room. I think I got so lucky the first time, couple times I went up there. And just somehow made it. Second La Mulana one image. Oh, okay. I clicked it anyway. I was like, is this spoilers? Let me just open it. It's fine. Okay, well, I imme imme immediately fell. That's good. It's very good. <sighs> oh, I'm looking at the wrong spot. Thoth's room. Do we think that other room is Eden? Is Isis? Not Eden. Isis. This one? Altar of War. It's up here. Oh, I can't get in this door yet. Let's do green. I feel like the picture captures the spirit of the experience so well. It really does. Oh. Pencil lead. I have to write so light. Altar of war. Otherwise it presses it in too much. I'm gonna write Isis question mark because I think that's the highest up 
statue we've seen so far. I feel like the pendant is in this room somewhere. And I've been murdered by this eyeball many times. And by these ghost things shooting at me. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a switch. There's two switches down there. There's a statue. There's a staircase. There's all these things in here. It looks like such an enticing room. Do you think I can get the statue to shoot at stuff and break it? There's also some cool blue flames in the background. Okay, it's not breaking those vases as far as I can tell. It comes down off of the background. It's like overlaid onto the sarcophagus in the background. It's kind of cool. Drone in, hi, welcome in, how are you? We've made some good progress. I'm trying to find the shop in this area. I forget where it is. Oh, I have it labeled. It's down here. All right, let's go ahead and just drop down. No, I'll take the stairs. <laughs> I took it out. Um, it's not that way. Do I just fall here? I think so. This is where the bat is. Right there. The bat. Oh, this room... I had forgotten about all of this. But here's the shop. I still have enough money. All my money. Do nothing more than pray. I don't know how to pray. Or rather... Lameza doesn't know how to pray. Stop it. Stop bullying me. I'm just trying to go shopping. We're doing good on weights. I is thanking you. Okay, hopefully that'll help me in the labyrinth. I'm not really sure whether it will or not. Anybody want to look at my cool stone? My cool red light? Weird. Tefna, shoe. Oh, they, that's not... That other statue is an Isis, I don't think, because these ones in the background look the same. And they're not Isis. Have you... Yeah, we're broke now. We have three coins! Played any of Blackwell series point and clicks? I have not! Tell me about them. I do like a good point and click. This is Sanctuary. Let's go this way. No, don't jump up there. I was trying to jump up there. Rude. Um, I'm gonna jump down. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. It's fine. Never happened. 
We still need to figure this thing out, too. This cute little trolley cart. I don't get it. Um... I forget what this does. This is locked. Why is this locked? The graphical quality improves over the course of the series. You're a young journalist who finds herself helping ghosts move on to the afterlife. That's nice. No, I've never heard of those. I was wondering what we should play next after this. I was thinking of maybe doing, um, actually kind of thinking of Obra Dinn because of the nature of, like, note-taking and, like, deducing what happened fits in with this. But we've got a couple other puzzle games that have been on the backlog for a while. Um, and what else? Lots of games on the backlog. Oh, and Time Spinner, which is a Metroidvania. Overdin is good. Play Overdin. It just seems like it fits in as a follow-on to this. See, look at that bat hanging off of this platform. Like, I know how this room is supposed to work, but I don't know how to get up high enough to land on that thing. I must just have to jump better. Do a better job jumping from above. That's kind of like the Nebra Sky Disc hint. Jump onto the what floats from above. Da 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 da. I'm the Nebra Sky Disc. That bird. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, it burnt the buckler again. No. What did it burn? That was weird. Well, that was wrong. Totally recommend that in the case of the go golden idol. Overgen is good. Dunna, yep, dunna, -na. I'm the never sky disc. That's a catchphrase. <laughs> That's what it told me. Da -da 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 -da. I'm the Obra sky disc. Or the Obra. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> a statue of the giant waits in the land of Inferno. The words of the spirit are hidden within, but one must wait for them to present themselves. A statue of the giant? Which giant? There are so many giants. Don't answer that. Your hat can catch on fire? Oh, that's fun. I don't think I can get back up, though. Rude. I keep having to redo this. Someday I'll plan it out better. I want to ride the trolley car. I also feel like... There's just a lot going on here. Oh, rip. My hat's on fire. This, um... This light is on, like, a track. How do I get it to move up... The track? Oh, we got our health refill. Can't climb. Cast a light. Yes. I see the light. And this is Hathor, goddess of love and joy. Human beings, it turns out, are, are weird. weird. Hi, Tunes. Welcome in. How are you? Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth badge, your emotes, your ad previewing. 
We're so glad to have you. Thank you for 18 months. That's a brand new badge. That's the golden one with a smiley face. Enjoy. Enjoy your smiley face. Those are those are still pretty new, pretty uh pretty shiny, pretty exciting. We're trying to figure out so many things. That looks like newly constructed wall. Doesn't it look brighter than the others? Okay, yes, but what good did this do me? Was that the key to open up that other door? Ooh, la, la, la. <laughs> I have to sing. It is the key to open the Oh my god, that was the best day of my life. Thank goodness. I was like, there has to be a key for this somewhere. I can't, I can't keep resetting. Also, we got soft locked, soft locked in the very beginning before I ever got the Holy Grail. But I imagine that maybe I wasn't fully soft locked, but you have to know exactly where things are. I don't know. Or maybe I truly was. Unclear. It was really early, so I I could have been. Spelunking is good. Um, we talked about Spelunky today, oddly enough. But yeah, I'm I'm making progress. I'm just trying to. Whoa. That bird took off. I'm trying to find the right place to jump down here. I feel like it's just straight down. No, it's straight down and to the left, and I can't go any further left than that. We'll try again. It is possible to soft luck without the grail, okay. There was a way out, but it was complicated. That That's all the detail I need to know right now. Someone who spent 13 hours playing before he got the grail, so many soft lucks. That's a lot. Hi, Anne Table, welcome in. Thank you for redeeming human kindness. Sending human kindness for me to you. I appreciate you and everyone in chat. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. You are loved. You are worthy. I hope that your Thursday is going really well. It's so good to know you. Thanks, Antable. I watched a guy who spent 30 hours before getting it. He got very good at navigating. That's impressive. I would have given up. <laughs> I would... I would have said this game is not for me. <laughs> Just the rage at like not being able to save progress and having to redo stuff. Although I'm sure you, you get used to it, you learn things. But I would have been like, it's okay, I don't need to force it. This is not my type of playthrough, you know? That's not giving up. It's like... It's okay to admit you don't like a game. Like, don't torture yourself. If it's not for you. That's just my take. I kind of want to jump, like... This. And then... See if I can't aim better? <gasps> oh, I had it. Okay, we'll do it this time. We'll get it this time. I'm in a frenzy. Resub and see I have more than enough... For a free sub, perhaps support is support. Hey, hang on to it. Thanks for keeping those channel points. Might be misremembering how long it took him. That That is admirable. I do not have that type of, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty stubborn, I can persevere, but at the same time, like my mental is just like, if I'm not having a good time, I'm, I can't. <laughs> Overjoyed works, works with Ratchet and Clank. Nice. This game without the grail becomes a lot more combat heavy just because of the amount of traversal. That's, yeah, that's, that's the thing. It becomes more Souls-like. You have to fight everybody for the traversal and it's just not about the notes as much anymore. Or it is, but you have to be so patient to get where you're trying to go. 
to test the theory from your notes. Wish I could have men that mentality. If I don't like a game people love, I'll do everything to justify my opinion. Oh my gosh. It's okay to not like games sometimes. It happens. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> There's another area. Isis is here. Finally. I have known about those platforms for ages. But I just never... I thought I was going to have to jump up from below. And I thought I didn't have double jump yet. <laughs> so... I've 100 percented The Last of Us and Elden Ring just so I can confidently say they weren't for me, Toons. <laughs> Hours of your life. I mean, it's impressive. Like, nobody's gonna argue with you. You know. You you hundred percented them. You know that you that you have fully formulated an opinion. Not every game is for everyone, no matter how perfect it is. It's just that way. Mm-hmm. Look at all the Ankh symbols in here. Okay, this is this room. Somebody remind me at the very end of stream to put Amazon, or put pencil lead on like an Amazon shopping cart. I need it. Isis. Anterior chamber. Look at how I need to be more mindful of which colors go with which areas. Because even this label above the door is like a green teal. Oh, I saw it, Petrie. I can see the emote in Twitch chat. It's probably not going to show up in the chat bubbles yet because they need to refresh OBS for it to take effect. LM1 and LM2 are my favorite game I can't recommend to everybody. It's really not for everybody. I get it. Can't see it in chat for some reason. Hmm. Weird. Well, if it doesn't work next time, I'll probably just remove it. But it's strange that I can see it. Thanks for the love. Thanks, Jim. This is why the concept of target audience exists. It's fine to be in that group as, as it is to be outside of it. Exactly. Send message immediately fall into buffer hell. No. Return from buffer hell. Okay, and then this has, um, it also has an entrance to another zone here. No enemies so far in this room, it seems. Ah! <laughs> immediately gets proven wrong and the little statue blocks it oh are you the um you remind me of the mural in the door to eden that talks about hang on hang on oh it's not chio Sacrificial Abyss, Demon Absorbed Life Force of Maidens. It kind of looks like that with all the extra limbs and legs. Have the poor man's onk that has fallen over. <laughs> Seeing all extensive notes makes me think you could imagine playing a card game. There's a lot of optional notes and one of them is some... Wait, what tunes? <laughs> Someone's notes on a puzzle game? It's important to avoid being part of the target audience when it comes to archery. True. Major, hi! Welcome. Thanks for the hello. Okay, I need to write this down. Challenge... The... Inferno Cavern. The road ahead is long. Okay, so it sounds like the labyrinth is not the land of the inferno that this new place is. Those who proceed. Prepare to face death. We love that. It 
It's over here. You can't see it. It's all the way over here. There, now you can see it. I'm scared! I have a lot of health, though. Oh, that worked. Ah, oh, so many lasers. Oh, you've got kicks. You've got high kicks. This is rude. I don't love this for us. I'm gonna... Honestly, I'm gonna... Warp out of here. I can't hit you on this side? Oh, I have to get close enough to where your other legs will kick me in the face. 30 health. The noises of the lasers. Oh, I'm gonna chicken out. Isis's interior chamber. But where is Isis? Maybe if we defeat this boss is when we get the pendant. Maybe Isis is in the inferno. It's so much pew pew. Pew 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 pew. It's reminding me of Buer from Ars Gotia. I don't know that one. This is hard. It's um... It is certainly something. <laughs> Uh, actually, we're getting ready to wrap up soon. I'm gonna- I'm aiming for the five hour mark today. We found that area, which is huge. And even though I didn't get to, like, unlock a new save tablet to get in there, I know a better tactic to get in there, which is good. I have the heatproof laptop case already, so that seems like it'll be relevant for an inferno. It's an inspiration for the mini boss. Oh, nice! Oops, I was reading chat. <laughs> the snakes only do one damage now, it's fine. And I have 10 coins! Just enough for a new buckler. But I already have one. Wow. Thank you for the nudges today. Fishies, I think you gave this last nudge about the platforms to go back and look at that again. Um, that was helpful. And it worked. I think. I'm assuming that's what you were leading towards. And if it wasn't, then I have more platforms to go explore. Goshi is a tome of 72 demons sealed by King Solomon. Oh, cool. I did have fun today. I appreciate it. Um, I probably am like either too insecure or too overthinking it when I'm asking for nudges because I really don't like to, but in the past I've been so stubborn that it's like turned into kind of a dead end for a bit, which is also fine. I'm having a good time. It was a good balance. If you solved a puzzle without noticing and the stray hint becomes a distraction later with you want any kind of comment on it, Oh, um, y yeah, so like, hey, remember the hint about this? I, I mean, if you can remember, like, the hint wording, because I have it written down, you can tell me I already solved it. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Because these aren't, these aren't things, the hints aren't things from the game. So if I forget that there are things outside of the game, I will want to know. In case of trying it again now that you're a bit more used to jump mechanics. Definitely more used to jump mechanics. Definitely more used to, like, looking at other rooms to get into the room I need. Versus, like, okay, this room is a puzzle isolated from the area around it. I must need double jump. Because that's pff, out the window. Uh, I'm going to double save. 